Alan here. I'm gonna do a little safety video while I'm down here at the Campus Safety Conference in Las Vegas from the M Casino. Great place to do a little video for you. And today I wanted to talk about evasive action. Now evasive action has a couple different things we can talk about. Obviously, if you can evade and escape a situation, that's your first choice. If you avoid something, you escape, you're safe. But I also like to talk about evasive action when I'm talking about knife defense. If a person has a knife and you have your bare hands, you can't trade blows with them. You can't trade punch for stab, punch for stab. You have to practice evasive action so you don't get cut or stabbed. Now it might happen, if it happens you got to deal with it and you still got to do your best and you survive that situation. But we want to evade, evade a knife slash or a knife stab with evasive action. It could be hollowing out, it could be moving quickly side to side. But whatever we do, we want to do our best to evade the blade and then attack back when an opening is there that allows us to stop the attack and stop the attacker. So practice evasive action, evasive movement when you're practicing your self-defense skills. It's a skill that can save your life, especially if you're up against a blade.